What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, finally, we are here with F1 23. This is day one of the standard edition, but um, I actually had a bit of a drama trying to do the first video here. I swear to God, I pre-ordered the Champions Edition, which um, which I was allowed to, to play. As soon as I go into the Steam bin, I say, yeah, I'm all good to play. Every time I press play, you'll see that um, it'll say stop on the, the page, but then it will say play. So I don't know what happened there, but finally we're here and I cannot wait to get started. Today is just a first expressions video. This, this, is, this, this is my first laps on the new game. I haven't done any um, testing as you guys saw with the, with the early access work in progress. First laps, so we're, we're gonna be um, going around um, Qatar and Las Vegas. They're the two tracks I'm most looking forward to and yeah I cannot wait to get stuck into it and here we are finally we are here right, so yep Grand Prix multiplayer time trial yep go to the 23 cars number three my number's 88 but uh we'll stick with three for the moment uh I think do we stick with the red bull? Let's, well, let's have a look at the, the cars. Can we look at the cars? Can we go up and down? No, unfortunately. Slight popless Mercedes. That would get, um, that get nerfed. And there's our player car. But I think we'll go, we'll go with the red bull for now. Uh, Kata, 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 Kata. Kata, here we go. First, laps on the new game and look you may not see many videos to start though guys because um for a lot of the time i am going to be taking a look at um car setups they're going to be one of my main focuses um for the first month or so um wait are we in, yeah, we're in the day -old. let's make it night time under the complete darkness all right, so this, so the first lab you'll see uncut, and then I'll do do some laps, and then I'll talk about it as we go along. All right, let's go. Course feedback feels fairly strong. Wow. Hang on, something's not right. A few moments later. Wow. So it's corner on the track that is. Love how these corners are just flat. He's flat. Can we get through here flat? Oh no, I lifted off a little bit. Definitely have to lift through there, but it's not much. I'll tell you what, when we came here at the back end of 2017, I didn't really rate this circuit. I uh, didn't really like it that much. But now that I've actually 
driven and out. It's actually pretty fun to drive. Just how flowing these corners are. Once you get used to it, it's actually a really good good to drive. This straight though, especially looking at from from turn one, it does feel like a very long straight. This third set is, is actually pretty fun to drive here. Yeah? Flat. Flat. Oh no. How we didn't know how we avoided track limits there, I'll never know. Is this one gonna be? We're into the 22s now. Oh no. Oh dear. Yeah, I thought I might have I stayed with it. Ah oh, no. Actually, since this lap isn't validated, I want to see if we can take that corner flat. That was just a small lift, that one. Seven tanks we found on this lap. This is 22 and 1. I reckon we can get close to a 21. Oh no. Damn it. Oh, I get confused with this corner. I get confused that it's um, it's longer than it is, or longer than it looks. Wow, we found nearly a second. This is enough for a 21, or would have been enough for a 21? Not quite. This third set can easily catch you out with track limits if you're not careful. Flat, flat, oh nearly track limits, small lift. That the bait they probably didn't need to. Nice like twenty two here. Twenty two one. Where have we moved up to? Okay, so there is still plenty of time to find. Plenty of time to find. I'm going to immediately save this setup. So that was actually pretty good. That was actually a lot of fun. Didn't rate it in 21. We went, went there in real life at the back end of the year. But now that I've actually driven it, it's actually a lot of fun to drive. Okay, Las Vegas. Can't wait to see what this is like in real life too. I'm suspecting this is going to be a bit of a high downforce track as well. A lot of high down, a lot of street circuits are downforce tracks. What's this setup? Low downforce. Okay. All right. Let's pretty much hit every wall on this racetrack, shall we? Okay, probably a little bit of lifting, lift there. Whoa. Oh boy. Whoa. 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 Nice and flat down here. Whoa. Okay, well we cleared that process relatively cleanly. Now 
little bit tighter than what I thought. This section. We need to try and break like a little bit earlier there. Just listen to that car revving out. It's insane. Definitely found another three seconds. This is going to take some mega getting used to. The bumps. Oh, on the on the right here as well. The cars is gonna be bottoming out. Oh yeah, it doesn't feel too bad. Whoa. Good sideways. That was handled a lot better. Oh boy. I had to lift this off the throttle there because I thought I was gonna go into the barrier. That, that, I reckon that's actually leading onto the back straight can catch you out if you don't take the proper line. And if you go too far on the outside, um, you could. there's a chance you'll eat a bit of concrete. And that's something that I would love to avoid. That bit almost reminds me a bit of the, the old Singapore chicane, that little bit there. I reckon there's going to be some drama there as well. Car doesn't feel totally great. Maybe this needs to be a bit more of a downforce. Maybe it will maybe need a bit more downforce. Whoa. I've got like no traction in the low speed stuff. Even in higher gears. But because as soon as I put a bit of high down, extra high downforce on here, I'm going to be, you'll easily tell the difference on the straight. I'm going to be a lot slower. Let's try second through here. Slightly better. We found more time. So maybe lower gears is the way to go through there. Well, we found near enough to 5 tenths. This is definitely a 32. There's a couple of tracks I want to have a look at too. Saudi in particular, there is definitely some changes um, there. Oh crap, I don't think I even saved the setup for Las Vegas. Higher downforce this year. Interesting. Okay, interesting. The only thing I know about Saudi is that you cannot ride on top of the curves because you'll just bottom out and they'll have no hope of recovery. Especially right here. The wall is right up the apex now as we just nudged it all, we nearly nudged the wall. Yeah. Probably needs to open up the steering a little bit. So you can see we went over the top of that curve a little bit and look, we just lost some time. But you literally can't ride these curves because they're so much bigger now. Oh boy. Come on, how do we have our lap evaluated? We didn't even gain anything. For some reason, this feels a lot faster than 22. I'm hung up by that curve a bit again, but it wasn't as bad. 
this is going to be a 27, low or high to be 27. 27.5, that's a good lap. Always struggle at that corner, I never get that corner right. As soon as they hit 100% throttle, they just skip sideways. Well, that's exactly what I mean. As soon as you put your car on top of the curb, you're going to want them out. Ugh. Save it! Almost. Do we need burnouts? Seriously, can we do burnouts? No, not with full traction controller. <laughs> oh, oh dear. So what was our fastest lap? 27.6, so, 27.5, sorry, so, not bad. Wow, the eSports drives are in the mid-25s. That's, That's nuts. nuts. Is there any other track that I want to look at? Back here in Miami, uh, Monaco, Spain. Oh, I, I want to look at Canada, because um, apparently they're talking about the last chicane there, and I just want to look, because they're saying that, um, they're saying that the chicane is a lot earlier of this year's game. Like it, like it feels different. So I just want to go there. And considering Canada's this weekend, um, I thought it would be a good way to round off the video. I'm trying to picture on my head with all that last chicane. Okay, I am missing that apex a little bit more there, so maybe it has changed a bit. As we go into post commentary mode, um, but uh, what I actually have found is that um, the chicane itself hasn't actually changed. It's the wall on the inside that, um, that seems to be catching us out in um, early days. Uh, because in real in previous games, uh, the wall is actually a little bit further back than um, than what it usually is. So, well, the reason is why the chicane has been called everyone out uh, is because the wall has actually been moved closer to the apex of the last chicane. So I think that's what's um, caught everyone out. But also the reason they, they it is like that is because that's what that's how the chicane is in real life. So. All these track changes that you've seen almost or pretty much identically match uh, each track in real life. So now you know why, back to live commentary mode. Alright. Car definitely feels. I don't know, I don't know how the car feels in all honesty. It's definitely very loose in the low speed corners. Well, guys, I think we're gonna end this video here um i think i've seen all the updated track oh spain i've got spain as well but um uh, you guys will see that uh another time um so right now i'm gonna end this video i'm gonna do breaking points uh, that'll be the next video to come up and then my team will come up soon enough um, i'd really love to get breaking point out of the way because oh god i didn't get very far in breaking point one in f1 2021 so I really love to get into breaking point. Um, so once breaking point's done, I can then focus on my team a little bit more. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Do apologize for the late 
intro to F123. However, you will still see um, uh, the, the rest of F122, uh, my team career mode. I did manage to get that finished. However, I still need to edit some of the videos. Once F122, my team is done, the only time I'll go back to F122 is to finish off the Jack Doohan career mode. Once you see the final Jack Doohan um, driver um, career on F122, that will be the last F122 video you'll ever see. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's hope I can we can get this channel somewhere close to 200 subs. I don't know, that's probably a little bit unrealistic. Uh, let's just get as many subs on this channel as we can throughout uh, this year. So thank you guys for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you next time. Thank you.